दिस जय कल्पना किया इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एवेल्यूट दिस इंटीग्रल सो लेट्स गेट गोइंग वैल्यूट इंटीग्रल वन बाय वन प्लस कॉस थ्री एक्स डी एक्स सोल्यूशन वी हैव इंटीग्रल वन बाय वन प्लस कॉस थ्री एक्स इंटू डी एक्स सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रैशनाइज द डिनोमिनेटर we will write this as 1 by 1 plus cos 3x into 1 minus c you are having plus in the denominator so we will use minus we will multiply and divide with 1 minus cos 3x this is equal to integral 1 minus cos 3x by 1 plus cos 3x into 1 minus cos 3x into dx so this equals to 1 minus cos 3x by denominators of the form a plus b into a minus b which is equals to a square minus b square so we'll get 1 square minus cos square 3x into dx okay So this equals to integral one minus cos three x by one minus cos square three x into t square. So dx. Since we know that sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to one, then to take this cos square theta to RHS, you will get sine square theta equals to. One minus cos square theta. Then you can replace this one minus cos square theta by sine square theta. So this equals to integral one minus cos three x by sine square theta for theta equals to t three x. Okay. This equals to integral. Since we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator, you can split the integrand into two fractions. So you could write this as one by sine square three x minus cos three x by sine square three x into dx. So this equals to integral. One by sine square three x minus cos three x by you having sine square three x that is you having sine three x twice right so you could write this as sine three x into sine three x into dx so this equals to integral one by sine square three x minus you could write this as Cos three x by sine three x into one by sine three x into d x. Since reciprocal of sine theta equals to cosecant theta, if you square on both sides, you'll get one by Sine square theta equals to cosecant square theta, and cos theta by sine theta equals to cot theta, right? So you can replace one by sine square theta by cosecant square theta, cos theta by sine theta by cot theta, one by sine theta by cosecant theta. This becomes Integral one by sine square theta cosecant theta three x minus cos theta by sine theta is cot theta into one by sine theta is cosecant theta into dx okay one 
1 by sin square theta is cosecant square theta minus cos theta by sin theta is cot theta into 1 by sin theta. 1 by sin theta is cosecant theta into dx. Again, you can write this as integral cosecant square 3x dx minus integral cot 3x into cosecant 3x into dx. Okay. Since integral cosecant square ax plus b into dx equals to minus 1 by equation of x a into cot ax plus b plus integral constant c and integral cosecant ax plus b into cot ax plus b into dx equals to minus 1 by a into cosecant x plus b plus integral constant c. We can apply these formulas for these two integrals. Okay. For a equals to 3, b equals to 0. And for this a equals to 3, b equals to 0. Okay. So this becomes integral cosecant square ax dx is minus 1 by a for a equals to 3 cot ax minus integral cot ax into cosecant ax dx is minus 1 by a for a equals to 3 cosecant 3x plus integral constant c. Since b equals to 0, right? We have only a value here. So this equals to minus 1 by 3 cot 3x minus into minus plus 1 by 3 cosecant 3x plus c. You can stop it here or you can take 1 by 3 common from these two terms. That is from the first two terms. Take 1 by 3 common then you will get 1 by 3 into firstly write the positive term cosecant 3x next the negative term plus c. 1 by 3 into you can write this cosecant as since cosecant theta cosecant theta equals to 1 by sine theta. So you could write this as 1 by sine 3x minus cot 3x is cot theta equals to cos, cos theta by sine theta. So you could write this as cos 3x by sine 3x plus c. So now you can take sin 3x, the LCM of these two will have sin 3x as your LCM in the numerator will get 1 minus cos 3x plus integral constant c. Again you could write this as This equals to 1 by 3 into, okay, you can write this as simply 1 into 1 minus cos 3x is 1 minus cos 3x by 3 into sin 3x. 3 sin 3x plus integral constant c. Therefore, integral 
1 by 1 plus cos 3x into dx equals to minus 1 by 3 into or minus 1 by 3 into or 3x plus 1 by 3 cosecant 3x plus c or 1 minus cos 3x by 3 sin 3x plus c. Okay. So we have seen an integration in this video. Hope you will understand well. See you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.